that they first hosted these World Championships. Of course, this is the 23rd staging of this most prestigious of events. Commonwealth Arena and Sir Chris Hoy Velodrome, better known as the Emirates Arena. And our next match, we turn our attention to women's singles. And it is another left-hander, Kate Fukun, up against a name that's very familiar in the world of badminton. A manaki. This time it is Liani Alessandra a manaki. So as far as uh, this part of the draw is concerned, uh, this first round encounter is for the right to play against the number five seed, Sun Yu of China. The other seed, as you can see in this section, is Carales of Spain, the number 15 seed. Yanni Alexandria, a maniki up against Kate Fukun. Kate Fukun of Mauritius. Left-hander. Comes from very much a badminton family. Both her parents played internationally. Jacques and Cathy. In fact, they were winners of the 1995 Indian Ocean Games. Her parents and her older sister, Karen. I can remember competing at the Commonwealth Games in Delhi. The left hander Kate uh, Fukun had the immense honour of carrying the flag in the opening ceremony at the Rio Olympic Games. But as far as Liani Manaki is concerned, she's 20 years of age. She'll turn 21 next month. Born in Chiba in Japan, and I know that because I was speaking to her father earlier today and he was telling me that. And of course, Chiba in Japan is where the 2012 World Junior Championships were staged. Has been higher than her current ranking, has been as high as 49, as you can see, but she is playing in her first World Championships. Born in Japan because, of course, that is where her father, Rioni, is a national doubles uh, coach, one of the national doubles coaches. But for her to compete internationally, she was told that either she had to change her nationality or she had to move back to Indonesia. And she chose to move back to Indonesia, which she did in 2011. Her opponent, Kate Fukun, as I say, a real badminton family. And she and has been as high as 57. And, as I say, was the flag bearer at the Olympic Games last year. Second World Championships for her. She lost in the first round in Guangzhou in 2013, lost out to England Sarah Walker in two straight games. But as we look at... Our court officials for this, uh, Jitorut Tanu Karapat of Thailand. Our umpire for this one. And our service judge from Taipei. We have court officials from all corners of the globe here in Glasgow to ensure neutrality with all matches. And it's a great honour for the court officials to be invited to these major events. Well, this will be the first time these two players have played against each other. Liani Manaki. Not only her father here, but her uncle is here. Carol Manaki is also working with the Japanese team. And on my left, Rihanna Alexander Mainagi, Indonesia. Kate Fukun to serve. Love all, play. So the left-handed Kate Fukun. Getting this women's singles first round match underway. What a 
good opening rally. Oh, and that's landed in. One, One of the players, well. Lars Kate Fukun, who is a real all-rounder. She has medaled in all three disciplines at the African Championships. Two golds in women's singles, gold in the women's doubles in 2015, and a silver medal in so mixed doubles over. this year. One, all. Oh. Yeah, and as, as um, we can expect, we, we can see both players, they, they like to move the shuttle around the court, um, try to create openings um, before they attack. Two, one. Oh, that's right into the corner. Well, we haven't seen uh, Eliane Maniki play before the Lars, but the thing that's immediately striking me is that she seems to have the Japanese style of play. She looks a little bit uh, like Okuhara, the Olympic bronze medalist to me. Yeah, I, I, um, I can see what you mean. Yeah. Um, so it's... Uh, I don't know if we if we were able to see that if we didn't know, but uh, but now that we know, uh, it's, it it all makes sense, and uh, she shows uh, very very nice skills, and and Four, then one. she has a lot of pressure in her punch clears, um, which is is making it hard for uh, for Cuny to um, to get time to play her attacking shots. Um, I was I was talking to her coach uh, before the match, and and he said the. Their plan was that she should should try to uh, attack the the game, but it's been very Five, hard for her because um, of especially the punch clears from uh, from Meineke. She can tort her back there. Well, indecision. That's the slight drift coming Seven, into play. One. She looks at it, looks down at the line, gets her spatial awareness, realises it's going to land in. But by the time she decided that, it was far too late. Yeah, and, and Meineke has played very accurate to the to the rear court um, already from the beginning of the match. Two, um, seven. Which is impressive in in the first round uh, of a of a world championships. Just wide. Service over. Eight, two. Start for the Indonesian. Service over. Three, nine. Nine women's singles medals over the years for players from Indonesia in the women's singles discipline, including two golds. Second World Championships in 1980 in Jakarta. Verawati. And then again in 1993, Susie Susanti won gold. Oh, that was going out. Oh, good rally. Good rally. Yeah, a very nice rally, and, and uh, it seems like Kuhn also has, has uh, gotten familiar with the conditions now, so, uh, so she has... Uh, Increase the quality of her game, but it's still difficult to uh, to follow the pace of uh, of uh, Meineke for her. Yeah. I just noticed that the 
Indonesian coaching bench is Uncle Malif. Yeah, it's a nice drop shot. Very, very, very much in command. Liani Maniki. That's very poor. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 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 From my perspective, very wisely chose uh, to play for Denmark. Tune studies in France, uh, in Paris, and and uh, is doing some uh, some training both in France and and in Germany, where um, Jonathan Pearson lives. Yeah, she's lived in Paris. So since teen. Three. Last year, also trained for a while in uh, Malaysia and in the UK here in Leeds. Oh, that's a beautiful block. Followed up by a wonderful net shot. Oh. Yeah, well played by the left-hander. Yeah, and she's done some really good angles from her defence um, a couple of times now, and uh, and she'll be looking to to use that more when she's in defence. Uh, that's not her first choice. She, she wants to be in the offence, but uh, of course she can't. She can't control the game all the time, so uh, so I think these angles from defence will be uh, very useful for her. Coach approves of that. Big key, though, Lars, is taking it early at the net, isn't it? Yeah, and then I think that, that Jonathan was uh, was right when he was asking for more clear shots as well. Um, he said, you, you haven't used the clears yet, so it's um, to to make the area that Meineke has to cover um, uh, bigger. But it seems like there is a bit of, of, uh, of sideways drift as well, and she's, she's, um, Kuhn has hit uh, quite a few shots wide in, uh, in the round the head side of, uh, of Meineke. Mm. Yeah, good, good racket skills here yeah. by Meineke and good, good counter attack uh, playing the threat drives from side to side and it's difficult for to defend for for Kuhn. Good judgment, just wide. Oh, challenge here. Is there a challenge? Six, I think 15. she's decided not to. <laughs> Taken. Forced uh, Maniki to play the uh, backhand 15. from deep in court, and that's always a sign that a player is in trouble. There's the backhand. You've got your back to your opponent. Can't see where the net is, can't see where the court is. You've got to use your spatial awareness. And a big problem. Service aura 16. Huge seven. huge honor for this lady. Known in her home country as the Princess of Babington. Huge honour to 
carry the flag at the opening ceremony in Rio de Janeiro. Oh, good flick serve. Just Seven. one Olympic medal, won by an athlete from Mauritius, bantamweight boxer in Beijing. A bronze medal for Bruno Julie. Oh, that's nice. 18-7. I'm not sure there will be... Uh... A, a badminton uh, world championship medal this time for uh, for Fukun, but uh, I think he she has uh, improved her game after the mid-game interval and and is playing a, a lot better quality now. Uh, we're having some really good rallies. Yeah, and I know she she missed that attempted kill, but I actually like the fact that she was going for it. Exactly, she, she's she's much more. Uh, she's got a much better plan now, and and uh, and I think uh, her coach was was absolutely right that. That even though she wants to attack, then then she needs to move her opponent first uh, with some clears or, or drops. Service over at 19. Yeah, this is where her doubles play has come into very good use that drive defense Oof, beautiful beautiful where in in the beginning of, of this game she uh, she got a little bit intimidated by the power uh, of the punch clears from uh, from Meineke, but now she's actually um, playing the same same kind of shot back at her um, with success this time. Yeah, it's a nice idea. Just so finding the net and that error from Kate Fukun means that this lady, Liani Manaki, has the game point opportunities. A whole host of them. Out. Goodness gracious me. Service over. A very, very deceptive Ten. service. She was, <laughs> she was trying there. Uh, well, I suppose when you've got such a lead, you can afford that extravagance. Yeah, if you need to test something, then it's it's a good time to to, yeah. to do it. Yeah. Very much in command, Liani Maniki in game number one. 21 11. 21 11 in 13 minutes. And looking very smooth in her movement, looking very confident in her play. And the end was already much better. We had like moved too much more. And yeah, as I said, when she pushes you to the back, you just have smash. Yeah. Just smash straight. Wrong, wrong, wrong. Yeah. Because she's also always going to defend straight. Come on. Okay. Well, actually, Kate Fukun with her coach there. Reach the final of the 
uh, Mauritius International earlier this year. Bring mixed doubles together. There he is. Caught one to twenty second. Caught one to twenty seconds. Jonathan Pearson. Second game, love all, play. Oh, did you notice that, Lars? We're very used to the Japanese players giving a little bow to every corner of the court, to the court officials, and there was a little hint of a bow there. Her Japanese upbringing, uh, some of the traditions and formalities adopted by her. Yeah, and she's also, also doing a bow when she's leaving the court, uh, yeah. both for the mid-game interval and, and uh, at the end of the game. So, um, so you can definitely see um, where she was brought up. Oh, good net shot. Oh, that's wonderful play. What a good rally. No, overdone it. That's a pity. That was such a good rally. Well, the net exchange, extraordinary. Look at the quality of that. Yeah, it's a beautiful rally, and, and I think that... that uh, uh, Kate Fulcune's coach uh, was right in, in uh, trying to give her confidence and say that, that the last part of the last half of, of the first game was uh, was actually okay. She only lost 10-8 uh, so after the interval and uh, two, she should keep one. that confidence and, and, and keep playing the same way with a few adjustments. Um, and and she has played some really, uh, really good rallies here uh, in the second game. Oh, I like that. Yeah, she's got some really nice angles, especially with her, with her backhand uh, at the net and, uh, and in defence. Nice technique there. Oh, it's landed in. Service over. Two, three. Yeah, very good control here. Oh, just caught a line. My goodness, the outside edge of the line there. She'll be quite disappointed with mistiming this shot because it, it was a good opportunity and uh, she forces Meineke to do a, a bad quality lift, a too short lift. Uh, so and that's that's the way she wants to play for Kuhn. Oh, that's magnificent. That almost seemed to have topspin on it, that so backhand it's drive across five, court. Three. Yeah, but from, from her her backhand net, she's she's waiting. Um, and and then very late, she shows where where she's uh, placing the shuttle with, with a little flick. There's uh, another nice touch here from, uh, from the backhand. Mm. So 
Chris White. Well, she's asking to challenge. In my opinion, she's asking too late. Four, Turned five. and looked at her coach. Good umpiring. Good umpiring. Umpire saying no. Due to the route. Five, oh. But it's a fine balance for um, for Kate Fukun because uh, right now she takes every option to uh, to attack and go for it, and and I think she uh, she needs to be a little more patient and. Uh, and choose the right options, but uh, maybe the speed Six, of the game is five. also getting uh, getting to her. And I, I don't think she's used to playing uh, a lot of opponents uh, at this speed. So uh, that could also be the reason why she's a little bit too eager to uh, to finish the the rallies because she she's she's in control now. She uh, she can rally with uh, with Meineke, and then the uh, the opportunities will come uh, if she has the patience. And of course the fitness to to keep doing it. Here the patient uh, pays off. Um, she keeps the pressure on Meineke and who ends up making a, a lift that's too long. It's another good rally. It's good intensity. Oh, there's the use of the body smash. We talked about it in the men's singles. It's a lovely variation in singles. Yeah, and we can see here that she's ready for a smash to watch her, her forehand side and, and uh, it takes her completely by surprise that uh, Meineke is hitting it hard towards the body. Very good choice. Another deceptive serve here. This is the one of one of the parts that I I like in in lady singles that they take the initiative uh, already in the serve, doing some deceptive serves, some some service variation, where a lot of a lot of uh, the women singles they they just start with a high serve, giving all the initiative uh, to the to the opponent. Yeah. But, uh, and even if Meineke she she has made a couple of of, uh, of mistakes on the serve, then I think the insecurity that that she puts on the uh, and the pressure she puts on on her opponent is is um, is much more important than the few mistakes. Yeah, she finds the line there, Maniki. and even the dive by the left hander couldn't retrieve it. Nine, six, play. It's a nice idea. Yeah, but once again, I, I have the feeling that, that she's getting a little bit too eager. Um, the shot before this one, she, she plays the... Uh, an attacking shot. I think she 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 gets Meineke a little bit under pressure, and then she should uh, try to increase that pressure instead of trying to win the rally, uh, because that that gives Meineke the option, uh, the opportunity to uh, to counter attack, um, or she will make a mistake as, as she did here. Interval. Well, I thought for a moment she was going to challenge that, but no challenge, and therefore we go to the game interval. And the five point advantage for Liani Maliki. Kumar Mali, the coach. Coba yang tadi tu cepat sekali keluar. Jadi dilatih keluar dulu kan lagi leading. Tapi 
Ingat jangan goyah ya. Satu poin juga, satu poin harus susah buat dia. Ya. If you lift here, don't always lift cross. You always lift cross. You have a good net. You do that, or you can lift, make a flat net. Eleven, six, play. Very dainty player, isn't she, Maniki? I can see that light-footed work, you know, seems to glide across the court, balletic movement. Yeah, exactly, and, and, and that in combination with, with uh, nice skills um, and, and a good touch uh, makes, makes her hard to play. It's gone wide. A nice cross-court defence here. 13-7. She's very good at, at staying in balance, Meineke, and that's also why uh, uh, Kate Fukun is, is sometimes tempted to, uh, to attack a little bit too early. Because she thinks that she's out of balance, but actually she, she is in control and, uh, and then she gets in trouble. Good net shot. Exchange. I can understand now that I, I've watched her more carefully because this is the first time I've really concentrated on uh, Liane Maniki uh, playing women's singles. I can understand now how in the second round of the Hong Kong Super Series at the end of last year, she went to three games against the world number one, Tai Su Ying. She's got talent, she's definitely so got over. talent. And that lovely movement 14. we've just been discussing. Yeah, exactly, and and I think the the combination of of uh, the Japanese skills and and the Indonesian skills is is a very dangerous combination <laughs> yes. actually because I've seen her in in uh, in Indonesia Open uh, controlling uh, the the drifty conditions uh, very very well, so uh, so I think she's taking the best from uh, from different parts of the world and uh, and, and made it into a, a good cocktail. Yeah. Good skills again here so from the backcourt. Um, no, that's 15. one of the things that that uh, Kuhn and, and her coach has, has worked on over the summer to uh, to have more variations from the from the rear court. Once the shuttle changed, but your theory, Lars, about a sideways 11, drift, 15. I think proved by that last shot from left to right as we look down on the court. Yeah, it seems like they have a lot of uh, a lot of trouble controlling that sideline, uh, especially on the cross court shots. Margin too. 
And again, a little bit over eager from uh, from Kuhn uh, because Meineke was, even though she had a lot of time to play the uh, the attacking shot, then Meineke was in balance, and uh, I think that's why she she overplaced it. Service over to a 17. Of course, it was only at the last World Championships that we had a medal in the women's singles for Indonesia. A surprise bronze medal for Linda Winnie Fanatri. Has she now retired? I haven't seen her for a while. I think she uh, must have done. Yeah. Oh, this is good. My goodness, even a full pirouette on the backhand there. Terrific rally. Yeah. Lovely play by both players. Yeah, nice skills in the, in the net play, especially from both players. And um, a very enjoyable rally, actually, to, uh, to watch here. But it seems like uh, the Indonesian is, is a little yes. bit uh, um, physically stronger and, and it's easier for her to, to keep the speed in, in these a uh, little bit longer rallies and, and keep the control. Yeah, there's the disguise on the serve again. Yeah, I agree with you, Lars. I like that. Uh, there's the drift definitely coming into play. 19-12. Oh, it's a good backhand there from the left-hander. Uh, just drifts a fraction wide. But that's quite quite typical. You you retrieve a, a difficult shot and and uh, and then you get a little bit easier shot and maybe you're not as focused and then you forget uh, the drift maybe or it's not fully focused on on playing a, a quality shot. Good choice here by, by Kuhn to stay close to the net and, and then she's reaching it early there and she can play a, a quality net shot and, and for a change she plays it uh, she plays it straight. Oh, I should make mention of her uncle Rexy. He won gold at the World Championships in 1995 in Lausanne with Ricky Subaja. What a family, what a talented family. 13, 19. Just a fraction long of that back line. 20, and therefore, match point opportunities for Liani Maneki. That's well saved. Service over 14, 20. Yeah, because it was. Another very good disguise on, on the serve, but uh, maybe it was a little bit too flat. And uh... Ooh, again. But as I said, I would rather miss a few uh, serves and, and then uh, make the opponent insecure than, than play all of them safely in and, and then give all the initiative to, uh, to the opponent every time um, you're serving yourself.
What an incredible rally. And a third match point has been saved by the left-handed Kate Fu Kuhn. My goodness me, what determination. That refusal to give in. Yeah, good fighting spirit here. And, and also by her coach, I was, I was just watching his legs. He was playing uh, <laughs> the rally just as, <laughs> just as much as she was. Uh, well, that's good to see that, that he's doing his best as well. on her fourth opportunity. Leonie Maneki playing in her first World Championships. Route through to the second round, where she will meet the number five seed, Sunwoo of China. Leonie There's Alexander how she did it, 21-11, 21-16. Match lasting in total, 36 minutes. So, job well done, but what an entertaining women's singles and wonderful to see uh, Kate Fukun representing Mauritius and the African continent playing very well here at the World Championships. But uh, the day belonged to Manaki. She was simply too good. Two straight games. Let's see the highlights of that women's singles. The city of Glasgow, located on the River Clyde. And the name Glasgow derives from the Gaelic phrase meaning Green Valley or Dear Green One. We're based, of course, at the Emirates Arena here for the Total BWF World Championships. So after those two singles, another singles and another seed. It is Tanon Saxensum Bunsak. Up against Nick Fransman of the Netherlands. Amazing that four singles matches in a row that all feature a left-hander. Now, as far as uh, this section of the draw is concerned, you will have enjoyed the number one seed, Someone Hope, coming through his match in two straight games. This match is also from the same section of the draw. Of course, it's the top quarter of the draw because we've got the number one seed there.